Alright guys, well, Mavis now has a skirt, so she's no longer showing quite so much leg. <laughs> um, and I'm pretty happy with how it's looking so far. I know you can't see the whole thing, but it just sort of continues down, as you see. Um, I had no idea what I was doing when it came to doing the hemline. I kept reading the instructions over and over and over again. And in the end, I just went, you know what, I'm just going to do it the best way I can think of. Um, so I just ironed the hem line down like it, it said, but then I, I turned it under itself. Um, I used pins and then I just stitched it, you know, about a centimetre or six mil or something from the um, hem line, I guess. So looking kind of not neat ish I guess like not too bad anyway I did do a zigzag stitch all the way along as well because like this material is all of it actually both types of material um, fray like crazy so that can be really challenging like not just a little bit like it frays like crap um, there's I don't know if there's a spot to really show you uh, but like you know I don't know can you see that probably not it phrase to the buggery um yeah it it's really kind of insane and I didn't like zigzag every hem which I probably could have I just I wasn't sure like I always second guess myself if it's not in the, the instructions I'm like oh I better not do it <laughs> just in case you know unless I'm like really sure that it won't cause an issue down the track because I have fallen into that boat where I'm like, you know, oh, I'm sure like it'd be better if I, you know, do this extra precaution stitch thing or whatever. And then I realize I've just screwed myself for further instructions down the track. And, um, and, and yeah, and I don't like to unpick stuff. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it looks pretty good so far. I'm not done yet. <laughs> I have a bustle to make now. Um, it's nearly five o'clock at night. Uh, our guests, we had some guests here and they've just left. Um, and now uh, it was actually Dan's folks. Hi, if you're watching. Um, probably not because they've just realized what my YouTube channel is. So <laughs> hi, if you found me. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, they've just headed off and I am sort of setting myself a goal of at least getting the train done so I can try and add a little lace onto it. I actually think I've run out of lace. Like I have a little bit of the um, of this lace left. I don't think I quite have enough, which is so annoying because I, I think, I'm sure I ordered the amount that it said, but whether I didn't measure it when it came, whether that was a little short or I, underestimated it or I don't know maybe I'm wrong but I feel like I'm I feel like I might have run out of lace if that's the case I may end up trying to um, use something else that I've got and maybe paint it I don't know I'm not sure um, anyway I better not sit here and you know shoot the breeze with you guys because oh my god still have a bustle to make <laughs> No idea how hard it is to make a bustle. I've never made a bustle um, and a train before. And uh, yeah, but it's the last leg of the pattern. So again, wish me luck. Let's see how this goes. <laughs>
guys, I've almost finished the train. I've been putting the buttons on, um, or making the button holes, I should say. And I still need to um, put the buttons at the bottom of the skirt. I haven't done that yet. I'm gonna have to like make a bit of room to move Mavis out so I've got room um, to put that on. Uh, it is a million degrees here in Australia. Um, I think it's getting somewhere towards 40 degrees in the city, just slightly less than that here. Um, and I've got the air con on and I'm melting, but we are literally two days away from the event and I have so much to do and I don't know if I'm gonna get it done I'm really panicking um, as you guys know by now I've put a hold on my videos because like it just got to a point where I couldn't do everything and I thought well I've come this far I'll be really devastated if I can't get my outfit finished so that's what we're doing and um, so it's about lunchtime I've just had lunch and now I need to make a bustle. <laughs> I've never made a bustle in my life. Um, I hope it's not too difficult. I really hope I can get that done by the end of today because I still have so much to do. I've got um, beading left on the necklace to go. I haven't started the mask and I really wanted to have that for the costume. I don't know if that's gonna happen to be honest, so we'll see. Um, I've just spray painted my shoes gold. Um, I was going to do some bejeweling and stuff, but I don't think I'll have time for that either. I don't even think I'm going to have time to put any of the beads that I bought on my outfit. Like, really, I've just lost time. Um, I don't know, yeah, how I thought I was going to get all of this done, but uh, there we go. So anyway, let's get started because I cannot delay anymore. Mavis is patiently waiting, but I've got to hustle with this bustle. I am nearly done. I have a waistband to attach it to, I think. Um, I think I've got to do some buttons um, for it to like button onto the back of the skirt. And I might be finished, maybe? So I'm going to persevere. It's five o'clock here. Um, oh, actually, I think it's about 5.30. I'm going to go a little bit longer before having stopping for dinner um, and see if I can get this skirt done. But um, yeah, soon Mavis is going to have a ball gown. <laughs> 